Y'all, Turbo Token has announced its partnership with Motoverse. Motoverse is connected to Animoco Brands and Animoca Brands is the leader in Web3. So when you have Web3 and AI coming together, baby, it's a celebration. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna break a little bit of that down. We're also gonna talk about Turbo being fully diluted, honey, according to CoinGecko. Stay tuned. We're getting into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Urban Fintech at the G-Spot Studios channel, where we try to make finance and technology sexy. I'm your girl, G. All right, y'all. So Turbo has made an announcement today. Well, yesterday, June 25th. Turbo Token partners with Animoca Brands to establish long-term brand and market presence. Now, this is interesting on a lot of fronts because um, there is news that Turbo also is doing some stuff in space. And so to add this as another element of utility to the Turbo Token is a big deal. Now, it says here... Um, it aims to redefine the meme coin market by forging a major partnership and creating enduring value for token holders. So again, this is the second partnership thus far. So it says here, Turbo Token, the first decentralized meme coin created by AI. They announced this today. Um, they're a leader in digital entertainment and blockchain gaming. This is what Animoca Brands is. Animoca Brands recognized as a Deloitte tech fast winner a fortune crypto 40 company and one of the financial times high growth companies asia pacific 2023 is renowned for its success its successful projects including the sandbox phantom galaxies and partnerships with major ips like the walking dead Power Rangers and Moto GP. Now, the Walking Dead um, partnership and IPs is interesting because I know that they have some partnership and things going on with Gala Games as well. So I'm interested to see how those worlds might collide at some point in a good way, obviously. All right, so it talks about this alliance is designed to leverage Animoca Brand's robust ecosystem and position Turbo as a recognized name with long-term market presence and token value. So we'll talk a little bit more about this partnership in a moment. I wanna just pivot over and look at Turbo's price for today. Um, and again, I'm recording this at around midnight on June 26th. So we're kind of in between days at this point, I'm in the US. Um, so the market cap here, $348 million. Um, it's sitting at 0 0.005. Um, so it's just kind of holding at that five mark, which was is about 50%, I would say, down from that all-time high that it had when it pushed very close to a penny. So this is CoinGecko. According to CoinGecko, Turbo is fully diluted. So that means that the entire token supply is out there in circulation. 69 million tokens out there circulating folks. So this is the market cap for that amount in circulation. So again, I, I said it before, now it's just a matter of investors and price movement. Um, there was something else that uh, I wanted to touch on. Oh, so I thought it was pretty interesting. I told you, yeah, from the all-time high of 0 0.0097 right here, um, it's down almost 50%. And so that high was reached on May 28th. But looking at it from its all-time low nine months ago, which is almost around the time I was able to get in, it is up 7,000 percent like that is crazy and it's only going to go up and i know I, I i feel like i it's redundant i say that often but there's still again so much room for growth that market cap is so freaking small if you think about all of these other large meme coins the doge the pepes um bread has even hit the billion dollar market cap i believe um this is just one of those tokens just waiting to take off so I, I am super excited about that um, possibility. And then just looking at, let's see, 
this is the 24 hour we have here so it is down because it did have a little bit of a spike in the last day or two but on the seven day it's still green so that doesn't look bad on the month it is down however so very red um, because may it just really performed well and june just kind of took the nose dive for the three month it's still green and then for the year you all know what it is that that nice spike baby and so we're just waiting on another one of those to come in and set us straight so we can prepare for this takeoff. Um, so that is just a little bit about uh, Turbo in terms of what it's looking like in the marketplace. It's down 16%, number 187 is still inching up there, inching up there. I think when I first did the Turbo token video, it was at maybe 500 and something. So it's trying to crack that top 10 of uh, meme coins. You know, it wants to be number one. Hopefully it will, because I really fully believe in it. Um, and another thing of, of why I believe Turbo can overthrow Dogecoin and become the number one token is because it, it's just time. It, again, it's such a different coin being an AI token. Um, Elon Musk had a lot, a lot to do with Doge's success. Um, and he just hasn't really talked about that coin much more. I, I think he even, well, I don't even want to misquote him, but that is not um, something that he he is shilling, I should say, you know? And so the fact that he's not doing that, people are just waiting for the next thing. I think it's almost probably intentional that he's not doing that because he knows that there is something new and better that is out there. And in my opinion, that is Turbo. So let's go back to the news that we got just in the last 24 hours. And I noticed that this news was published. This is Business Insider that has this article, but there's a lot of different other major news sources that publish this, this partnership too, which I think is, is pretty important. And even Binance had a little piece on it. So we you know know that we want it listed on Binance and the fact that they're paying attention is a, a, a good sign. Um, so in the initial stage of the Animoca collaboration, Motorverse will engage in a token swap involving Motorverse's Rev tokens and Turbo tokens. The Turbo tokens received by Motorverse will be distributed to the Motorverse community on Rev holders. Futureplay.com will support this initiative as a liquidity partner, ensuring smooth transactions and stability during the token swap. Now, Futureplay.com is what is going to be, I guess, maybe like the platform for um, this Motorverse and Turbo Token partnership. But as you see here, U.S. players are not allowed to visit this casino. All right, so this is some kind of casino that we're talking about here with futureplay.com. So Turbo is actually getting involved in uh, some casino kind of stuff going on, uh, obviously. Um, so just kind of going back to, um, oops, that's not where we want to go. Here we go. All right, so because Turbo is one of those things that represents innovation, creativity, and community value, um, they felt like this strategic um, partnership with Animoca Brands is a pivotal step in their strategy to develop Turbo as a long-term recognizable brand that enhances the value of Turbo and for the Turbo token holders. All right, so celebrating the partnership. So to mark the significant partnership with Motiverse and Turbo token, they will host a series of engaging contests beginning in June. These events aim to foster community participation and highlight the synergy between the Turbo and Motiverse brands. Participants will have the opportunity to create car liveries for Motiverse's Rev Racing title, design memes showcasing the collaboration, and they can join the Turbo League on the MotoGP Guru Predict app for Grand Prix Race predictions i think that's it because my screen just jumped out yep and it says these contests will feature attractive prize pools 
further incentivizing community engagement. So that's nice. Um, the Turbo community is strong and long, honey. So the fact that they're doing things to really engage the community more, they're incentivizing the community, they're you know doing sort of this um, interactive kind of involvement is, is really nice. Um, and so taking these meme coins to the next level, it talks about the popularity of meme coins surging this year with trading volumes increasing. And Turbo is focused on elevating the concept of meme coins further by integrating itself within traditional and mainstream businesses, thereby providing tangible brand value to its token holders, honey. Tangible value to its holders. So we see holders much like shareholders, this is what they say, just as shareholders own a stake in, in a company, our tokens or excuse me, our token holders own a stake in Turbo. We are committed to enhancing Turbo's value for our investors, says Johnny Mac. Our goal is to capitalize on the value of being associated with prestigious Animoca brands. Additionally, we aim to extend our reach into mainstream markets through our partnerships, ensuring Turbo's recognition beyond Web3 and into everyday society. And so they... Um, have a little bit about future plays role in this. And they said they're, they'll play a crucial role by providing necessary liquidity during critical phases. What those phases are and what that means, we don't know. Again, this is something that's developing and we'll probably learn more as they um, develop and, and, and share more. So it says when faced with significant challenges and offer essential support, um, they plan to reciprocate by supporting future play and ensuring mutual growth and success. So again, future play is not available in the US. So that's something that we're hoping eventually comes here. Um, Turbo remains dedicated to bringing increasing value to its token holders through strategic partnerships. Okay, so we talked about that. And then it has a little bit about Turbo Token. So let's just jump over here to Motorverse because this is the partnership. These are the people that they partner with. And what they are um, as an ecosystem, let me accept these cookies, honey, with these cookies. So they're building a global community with a shared love of cars and bikes, racing games, and motorsports, bringing the experience of vehicle ownership to the digital age. And now I can, I'm not going to get into the Simpsons Frank Coin episode, but you know, why not? few things in there you have motorsports you had the frog jumping around you had like that 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 um motorbike racing kind of thing and then you had like this jackpot at some point where uh the guy was telling us about cryptocurrency and he you know hit seven on on the slot machine so the the gambling part all those things kind of coming together to me um yeah it's just something that just kind of sticks out so their blueprint, their interoperable assets, your vehicle will work across a growing list of games and experiences. So this is what Motorverse is doing um, with their in-game play um, and their Web3 kind of uh, innovations. They have an open ecosystem, so they believe in the network effects of an open system and welcome all partners to join in their journey. It's community driven, so they're celebrating the global culture of motorsport, racing games, and life on wheels with a passionate community. So again, global means that this isn't just, you know, restricted to one jurisdiction. Web3 is going to absolutely be global, inclusive, and almost probably in my mind, like a one world economy. Um, digital ownership. And someone said it on one of my comments today. They said, you know, this is the fourth industrial revolution. I thought, bingo, like that. That's definitely what we're embarking on. Uh, but digital ownership, you can own, collect, and trade high fidelity assets that become more unique through gameplay. So you can own these assets, um, use them across blockchains. Uh, from what I understand is what they want to do in the future so that you can take your vehicle from one game to the next, you know what I mean? Um, and not have to actually like purchase a vehicle in each of the games that you play. There's interoperable systems taking place. Um, and so they have a ton of different games that they're working on, desk, desktop, mobile, 
as well as um, uh, Web3. And then they have a great team. It looks like here, folks that have been with them for a while. Um, and just really working on the brand. Uh, so Grease Monkey Games, Eaton Games, Animoca Brands, Torque Squad. And then they gave a little small timeline. Um, so this is kind of where they were last year. And to the left is where they are this year. Um, but looking at Animoca Brands, when you kind of like just type them in as a search, um, blockchain games, traditional games, and other products, Animoca Brands is a company that develops and publishes a broad portfolio of blockchain games, traditional games, and um, other products, which is what I just said. Um, but they're known to be experts in Web3. And um, the company specializes in blockchain, gamification, and artificial intelligence technologies to develop and publish mobile products, including games such as The Sandbox, Crazy Kings and Crazy Defense Heroes. Many of the products are based on popular global brands such as Formula One, Disney, WWE, which I believe is wrestling, Power Rangers, MotoGP, and Doraemon. Animoca Brands was founded in January of 2014 by Yat Su. And um, Yat Su is... Um, it actually was founded um, in partnership. So it was Yatsu and I believe a gentleman named David. Yeah, David Kim. Um, so the corporation is a Hong Kong based game software company. So they're located in Hong Kong. All right, so we're talking about China here and venture capital company founded in 2014. Okay, so very, very interesting. And then like just looking at some of the games that are licensed by Animoca Brands. You have the Adams Family, Atari. Atari is so old school, honey. The value on that, just being a, a, a antique, is a big deal. Care Bears, fan controlled football. So that's 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 deep dope. Um, I've never heard of it. Sounds fantastic. I'm sure some of you guys, maybe that's something that that you already are doing, but. A fan control football game is super dope. Um, Formula E, Manchester City FC, MotoGP, um, Snoop Dogg is involved with them. So it's just a number of like um, diverse types of um, partnerships and things that they're doing along gaming and NFTs and digital um, assets, uh, digital art assets as well. So, um, yeah, quite interesting. I know when Animoca Brands first started out, they had a focus on, I believe it was mobile gaming. Um, let me see if I can find something on their history. Yep. They initially focused on developing mobile games, then shifted to blockchain gaming and NFTs in 2018. So, um, just being ahead of the curve and really just staying relevant and paying attention to the streets, they were able to stay afloat. So I think that this is a growth period for them to really tap into the Web3 and just grow tremendously from there. Um, so, I, you know, I, I feel like this partnership is just the precipice of what the Turbo Token can do. If Dogecoin got up to 60 million, I believe, or excuse me, 60 billion dollar market cap during its its heyday, Turbo can easily get up to 69 billion. That will put it at a dollar price point. However, we have never seen an AI meme coin yet. This is the first trial run of an AI meme coin that is having some utility and probably is going to be one of the uh, most utilized meme coins. It's interesting too. Let me see if I can look this up quickly because when I look up Turbo being associated with the, what do you call it? <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a tickle in my throat. <clears> throat> the GPT-5, I believe. Oh, it's four. The OpenAI. There's no indication 
one way or the other of whether turbo token is somehow affiliated with this because there's a burning mechanism involved whenever you use G uh, gpt to um to get information or you know to to do a query or help out with something need some water jeez so there's something that's being burned so i wonder is it turbo token or what exactly is this burning mechanism that's happening every time somebody utilizes the gpt for turbo is there a direct connection so i haven't found one way or the other of whether there is a connection to chat gpt and turbo it won't say in anything that i've searched that no these two things aren't directly correlated or, or connected and it doesn't say yes turbo is part of blah 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 and, and every time you use gpt this is what happens with the turbo there's nothing definitively explaining any connection yes or not with turbo and gpt so it's, it's quite interesting to me um but yeah there there's some kind of burning mechanism that takes place whenever you use gpt um and so whenever you use it to you know develop content or whatever it is the certain amount of characters that it generates there's a certain amount of something that's being burned and i don't know if it's turbo token or or something else um it has i if anybody knows please let me know in the chat but i just find that very interesting because it doesn't really say one way or the other so i think there could be a correlation with gpt turbo and the actual turbo token um, because again it does come from ai and it did use gpt to create its token so for those two to partner right away and maybe kind of keep it on the hush would make a lot of sense to me so i thank you all for watching um i will be back with more turbo <laughs> tokens there's so much to to be said about this and i've i've watched other youtubers and their their turbo videos and it's just exciting um just great people that are involved with turbo and well deserving of any gains and and um, wealth that they can generate and so i bid you all a good night and i will see you next time take care Thank you.